On the do rag box, nigga. What the fuck? All right, bro. You supposed to be other niggas are supposed to be buying this. You supposed to be yes. hard, cuz <laughs> they do be in that hole. <laughs> Especially the ones with the cap, bro. All oh, those niggas think they the oh, coolest. <laughs> them niggas be in that hole. They uh, they like the new. They should be on the Newport commercial. You remember them little Newports? Mm-hmm. Uh, them them uh, ads on the side of the convenience stores. It, mm-hmm. <laughs> it used to look so colorful and shit. Like man, whatever that is, it's cool. They made smoking look cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> How toxic. Mm-hmm. That's that's the times we grew up in, bro. How toxic, man. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's good? Uh, What's good? RTC podcast is back at y'all boys. I don't even know what episode we on. I think it's thirty seven. Um, but we got oh, the man, homie we running Zoe. Up. Zoe in the building. What you know, First no time. good, Zoe. What you know, no good. First time on the on the podcast. First on the pause. He been on the mm-hmm. channel though. Yeah, yeah he been on the channel. Reactions. Yeah, a while back he was there for the the hundred K photo shoot. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Definitely was. He was there for that. It's been about two years, yeah. About two years. It was, it was in like no, it was in like October. It was like October ish. I put that in the group chat. I cried. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's 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 been a minute, bro. So we had to get them in here. So we we kind of freestyling today, bro. It's oh, you just, already know, bro. We about to go off the tizzy top. It's just a freestyle day, man. Nothing, oh, yeah. nothing too crazy. Shout oh, out yeah. to the weather. Get cold. These past couple of days, I'm I'm hoodie, with it. Hoodie yeah. season is in effect. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be like that next week, but I'm rocking with it. I, it's I need it. My time of year. Yeah. My time of year for the big man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweat who? Sweat who? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm rocking with the with the 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 winter gear. I know it was funny when I think it was like last week. It got cold for one day. Niggas was pulling out boots and them them big oh, ass man. oversized coats just yeah, because yeah, it bro. was cold for one day, bro. Stop lying, Ross. You know you was doing the same shit. Shit, I pulled out the hoodie, man. Shit, I'm like, shit. <laughs> right, I gotta take advantage of this shit, nigga. Take advantage saw, of that shit. Y'all saw the Instagram post, <laughs> right? Warm. You look very warm, bro. He had the fleece ready. Yeah. Sweet as well as no, but now, nah, yeah, uh, but you know, you never know out here. It get, I, I see how I do in Houston, it get real cold, um, mm-hmm. like for Halloween and like Thanksgiving, yeah, you know, be hot as hell, yeah, and but, like uh, the second Christmas. week of December, still hot. I'm like, damn, bro, yeah, we, we can't catch a break out here, but uh, prayers go out to, to uh, people that are in uh, Louisiana and they getting hit with another hurricane, Zeta, yeah. I believe, for real. Mm-hmm. They got hit. It's been five hurricanes. They all hit Louisiana. Five Damn, of them bro. so far, I believe. It's I'm like, a good amount of people with no electricity too. Mm-hmm. Like they've you know, been it's crazy. I ain't even hear about that one. Yeah, they've been getting hit back to back to back. It's, it's not up. like a a normal thing, which is still kind of bad because it's like they can't even really just. How can you go back home to rebuild? We got another hurricane coming in two weeks. It's going to destroy it. it. Yeah, so prayers go out to the boys that's living in Louisiana. I know y'all, Thanks. you know, it's kind of rough out there trying to get stuff situated. But, yeah, I just wanted to say that because I saw that on the news the other day. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, These niggas just got hit with one two weeks ago. Damn. Yeah, bro, you can't take a break, bro. Like, I could just imagine, too. I mean, you know, a lot of people that be living in them trailer homes. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I was never really a trailer home fan. Um, even for some of the relatives I know, I'm like, man, like we we live on the coast. Like, yeah, it don't take much. Yeah, and hell, when I forgot we were supposed to get hit with the what storm was that? But all we got was the rain. We just got the tail end. It was like maybe a few mm-hmm. weeks back, and Houston was done just by the rain alone. It wasn't even. It was just we just had a lot of rain for like a day. And you know, uh, what's that? Six ten all the way uh, to two eighty eight. Um, how uh, you talking? Yeah, when you get to like, <laughs> I think it's called Sims Bayou, or it's one of them bayous, bro. Two eighty eight 
underwater in just like a couple hours, bro. Yeah. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. And like I said, it was just rain. Oh, like it happened two days in a row type shit. Mm-hmm. Well, you so know, 288 is just a reservoir itself. Like, yeah, it, it, pretty the much. The way it dips, mm-hmm. it just might as well be a, a bowl that you hold water in. So, and I still under, I don't storm. ever understand how people get stuck. I be trying to figure it out, like on the on ramp to get in. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, wait, you ain't. I know, I know how people get stuck when you when you upside down on your car and you owe too much on that motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> and you trying to find a reasonable way. Daddy, what you doing? Wrong, baby. <laughs> Daddy, what you doing? So Daddy's clearing out debt. <laughs> Um, water receipt. There was a total of twelve impalls under the water, bro. Impalls, impalls, Ultimus, <laughs> all the nigga costs. Impalls, <laughs> Ultimus, all got illegal tent and and plates out of date. Buicks, Buicks, <laughs> <laughs> not the new ones either. No, no, nah, the old ones, bro. That's the thing, bro. Get that gap insurance. Oh yeah, we're going for a ride. Nigga mm-hmm. said, I'm turning our car into a boat today. <laughs> See how far we can travel. I mean, bro, there's no other excuse, bro. Like, nigga, you, you see when water rising. Like, mm-hmm. you ain't got to be the smartest nigga in the room to know, like, hey, I ain't going to be able to make it through that shit, bro. And Yeah, and those nigga, people you, still getting trapped. You'll still see a Dodge Charger just right in the middle. <laughs> and that floating, bro. Not even that. If you don't see that, if you turn the news on at the right time, you're going to see that one dude. Crawling, you gonna see that? Car. <laughs> oh, there it is, and there's a car going down, guys. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I just barely made it out. They sitting there, they sitting there recording your ass. You about to die? Yeah, they just, like, Come on. He go to do, I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna go get him. Like, oh, thank dude, dude, thank you. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> stand up first of all. Like, get your shit together, man. So is it true that you have gap insurance? Are you trying? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No more further questions. <laughs> cut, cut it, cut it. That, that, that'd be oh, the only reason. That'd be the only reason for shit like that to happen, though, man. But uh, yeah. yeah, man, a lot of uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. Another another shooting, oh, um, for real? that happened in uh, West Philadelphia. Um, it was Damn. a young man that was uh, killed by a, a police officer. Uh, I don't know Damn. if you heard about that story. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was I was seeing the video, um, but I ain't really want to, you know, watch too much on it. Yeah. But um, Walter Wallace, uh, apparently that his family um, had apparently they said he had like some type of mental health problem or something like that or issue or bipolar or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were calling the police or they was calling 911 for the ambulance, apparently. But the police showed up first. And mm-hmm. so uh, he had a knife in his hand. And it's kind of like he was. You know, just kind of out of it. You can tell he was uh, out of his mind or whatever. So he was kind of like just walking around, just you know, with yeah. the knife, and then walking towards the cops. And then next thing you know, uh, the people around him trying to tell the cops, like, "No, nah, we got it, we got it, don't worry about it." And then you know, he start coming at them, and they just you know shot him, you know, shot him up, and he died uh, on the scene. So, um, damn, you know, West Philly been. Doing a lot of, I know, think I did see that video. Yeah, because uh, the dude was, I it was like in the middle of the street. Yeah, and, he was coming out the his, house, and he, yeah, his, I think his mom was there. Like they mm-hmm. unloaded, bro. I yeah. think that was that was definitely excessive, especially like I don't know why people don't even like why not even try the taser route. Like I don't, I don't. They get, didn't even have tasers. Apparently, they oh. claim that the the uh city or they didn't have enough to have tasers for every officer so they didn't even wow. have tasers on them so they they but even then it, that was excessive amount like you don't have yeah. to shoot somebody that many times to put them down bro you don't like that's you know what i'm saying even if they not like mentally aware of what's going on even if they just you know just in a fit of rage it, it you don't have to put that many shots cuz if you watch the video, you hear it's not just one gun. It's multiple guns oh, yeah, going no, off. They, like they unloaded the whole clip on both guns. And I'm like, bro, that was right in front of his parents, his mom. I believe that was his mom. That That's rough, bro. That's. And they that's said rough. that uh, the officers knew their son had a mental health crisis because um, they had been to the family house three times that day. 
So apparently they was already called multiple multiple so times. They, they, those officers had already been. I don't know if it was those officers, like to oh, be exact. Okay. Um, but apparently they knew somebody known that he had a mental health problem because they was already calling the police or calling nine one one a few times that day already. So Damn. when they called that time, they was calling for the ambulance, and police showed up and you know just seen the black dude with a knife. Yep. That's. Just yeah. seeing a black dude at this point, bro. You don't even have to be a knife. I'm just seeing a black dude, bro. That's... I saw two videos. I think I saw, well, I know for a fact that I saw when they shot him, and then I think the next clip I saw, it was a mob. It was a mob of people just going to whoop a whole bunch of police officers. Oh, yeah, I saw that video, too. Yeah. Okay. It was all, it, it was a whole, just a slew of niggas. Not having that shit, throwing shit like I, I did see that video, and it uh, sucks yeah. that it got to even get to that point. It do. I ain't gonna. Part of me was like, I looked at the clip and I was like, oh, oh. and then I swiped, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh when they was tearing up the police, what? Yeah. Whooping they ass. But then again, I seen another clip uh, earlier today with them uh, running into Walmart. And For real? It was like a bunch of niggas stealing TVs and shit. Like it was like a whole bunch of black people looting Walmart, bro. I'm talking about looting Walmart D fuck up. Like oh, they was... that's that's not the key, bro. <laughs> that's that's not the key, man. Cause that's what the media is gonna focus on. They're not gonna exactly. focus on the other imagery. They're gonna focus on the looting of Walmart. And Walmart, they not really making they're not taking no L off that shit. They got to change for that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, what do you, you, that don't, that's not part of. It doesn't help the cause, bro. It don't, nigga, because you got an, oh, now 4K 50 inch TV. Congrats, my guy. That doesn't help the cause of what's going on, my nigga. Like, you don't even have any 4K type devices, my nigga. You just got the shit just to have, bro. Like, oh, man. That, that's, I need to get a 4K. I got two. <laughs> like bro that's AK that's cause. that's problematic man that's like, the problem and the problem i don't like too bro is like I, I love when people are trying to come together and be peaceful about it but i just feel like at this point in in that fashion people was just like because it, it's a debate people like don't worry about walmart worry about what happened worry about the problem you know what i'm saying like don't focus on the 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 effect focus on the cause don't focus on the cause, focus on whatever. You get what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, talking about don't worry about the, the reaction. Worry about what happened and what initiated it. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I agree. But mm-hmm. at the same time, we we do look bad. Like, what is you still in a brand new TV do for, you know, Wallace? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what, what does it do for him in his case and what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, you you put Nothing. your energy. We, we direct our energy to the wrong people. I felt like mm-hmm. instead of just keeping that force on the police department in the city to, you know, do something about it and make change happen. You feel me? But nah, facts. Facts, bro. I couldn't so. believe people was debating that shit, bro. I was like, God damn, like, not another one, man. Um, yep. it's, that's, but, that's 2020 for you, man. It's another one and another one and another one, bro. It, that's, rest it's, in peace. Yeah, it's it's become normal. It's, and that's sad to say. It's become a, a normal occurrence to check your phone and somebody else get shot unjustly. So that, that, that shit hurt. Mm-hmm. That shit hurts. Yeah. To scroll to scroll from oh shit, the Dodgers just won that hoe. Damn. Right. Like, to shooting. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, hey, what the fuck, bro? That's, that's the world we live in, man. So that's that's how crazy the timeline could be, bro. You can get so many mix of emotions just in a, a single flick of the timeline. Mm-hmm. Like, dang, right. yeah, y'all. Like you just said, I was just happy because I'm like, yeah, L.A. did it for Kobe. You know what I'm saying? And oh, no, they started. L.A. showing out right now. <laughs> Whole city. I can't even be mad at that. They showing out right now. They did their thing, bro. And then next thing you know, bounce back and you like, Okay, um, this dude just got shot. You hoping it ain't one of them type of videos? Yeah, they, they got them little fighting videos where people be fighting. It'd be like funny, and the next thing you know, it's a serious joint. So, um, rest in peace to him, man. Um, 
prayers and condolences go to his family and all that, man. Right. I just hope we figure something out and like create some change, spark some change. Cause I don't know, bro. I feel like people really just getting on that edge where they just like over it. So like anything is like niggas is becoming a ticking time bomb. And we don't want to wait till that happens to try to bring change. So, uh, speaking of change, election, um, mm-hmm. voting, uh, question. Do y'all think if Trump win or if Trump loses, it's going to get violent? Uh, I don't think so. If I, Trump I, lose, him and his supporters, you know, stand back and stand by, guys. Do y'all feel like it'll get a little violent with them if he loses? I'll let you go first, Ross. Um, I don't It's maybe a little bit, but I don't, I don't think it's just going to be just an all out war, you know what I'm saying? I I just don't think it is. I don't I don't see it. Right. I can see I can see there's gonna be a, definitely a lot of videos of boys really talking reckless, but at the same time, I don't see boys just really going up to their local hood and starting some shit. <laughs> so oh, I'm, I'm oh. like, nah, bro, niggas oh, niggas not coming down over them, bro. <laughs> no, you gonna keep that energy over there. <laughs> That's what exactly. Don't, what don't go by. Do. Don't go, go by Scott. Don't go nope. by MLK. No, nope. you keep that energy straight <laughs> over there, my guy, because it's not gonna end the way you think it will. So I think it, people will have. It's it's gonna really show who supported him and how they feel about the whole situation. I think it's gonna really shine a light on those individuals. But outside of that, probably some trash talk and niggas hurt and they feelings. They'll be mm-hmm. alright. If it happens that way, it'll be all right. Boy, put it like this. Just just like you said, they're going to come to the light. Them supporters. I mean, I don't have nothing against nobody. You're going to be whatever you're going to be. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. Believe whatever you're going to believe in. Mm-hmm. They're going to be – they're going to emerge like the scrolls, bro. Like the <laughs> scrolls, bro. I promise you. But, I mean, we're not going to take it. <laughs> That's exactly Trump's America now, boy. <laughs> See, it sure is. <laughs> At the same time, you have to expect both sides that. I mean, if you don't expect this to happen, that's what happens. You gotta expect, you know, either he wins or he doesn't. So, yeah, yeah he, but for boys to get violent and crazy, kind of like how they are. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, they gonna take it. They gonna take advantage. <laughs> they gonna take advantage of it. Like yeah. today was the first day I saw. I literally saw a video where there were a coalition, like a diversity, a diverse array. <laughs> but it was it was a Hispanic man. It was an Asian guy, and they all had signs: Mexicans for Trump, Asians for Trump. Uh, uh, Damn. Ethiopians, and I was just like, God damn, bro. And the Mexican dude, he's like, Yeah, we got you now. We got you. I see your license plate. We fucking got you. We fucking got you. And I was like, oh. What the? What yeah. the fuck? It's, on, it's on Instagram. And I was looking at it, and I was just like, Is there's unity? There's unity. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say, there's something in the bright. Uh, look on the bright side. <laughs> I mean, it's, and at the same time, they had a one. Frame in mind, nobody had a mask on. <laughs> Y'all all Thanks. Sick. So, uh, but, and I can't even tell you who you're talking to, but I can only imagine. So, I mean, there's some yeah. people who will, and at the same time, you have pe- you have peaceful people about the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Side, you actually have peaceful Trump supporters. Yeah. Not all, all of them like, think the same way. They don't, not everybody's on some some no. wild, reckless, you know, if you don't vote for them, you're part of the problem and not the solution. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody's <laughs> on that type of shit. Without so. any milk. <laughs> no, <Nah>, um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, but you know, I call those people mature. You know, mm-hmm. like, you, you should be able to have your own opinion of who you want to vote for, who you want to write in, whatever you're doing, and I don't beef with you for, for your choice. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't keep telling people to exercise their right to vote and get pissed off at who they voting for. Yeah, they, it's, they, it's, they not our, it's not our yeah. choice. One day it's going to come to a point you ain't got no choice. 
You ain't got no choice. You either gonna vote for this evil or that evil. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of what it feel like it's coming down to. Like, <laughs> it's like, but you feel like it's something on both of them that you just don't fuck with, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, because I, I, I do hate the term lesser of two evils. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we've, we've had that for the past two uh, elections. And mm-hmm. I'm getting tired of that. You know, like, oh, just, who ain't as bad? Like, oh, nigga, <laughs> both of them bad. It's battery acid, man. And poison, yeah. man, what you mean? <laughs> Oh, gonna hurt me, but you know, I just hope we get to us. Uh, I hope we get back to uh, professionalism in the White House, at least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at least, oh, just, <laughs> like <laughs> the wrong <laughs> bus I left. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But now, like you said, the first you said the right word, maturity. Like straight mm-hmm. up, maturity, bro. maturity comes with a straight mindset about what the fuck does this country need, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit. Apparently, uh, one of our subscribers hit me up. He's from Australia, and he was like, "Yo, bro," uh, he was like, "Over here, it, it's mandatory by law. You have to vote. It's legal not to." Like, damn. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like, "Damn, for real?" I was like, yeah, over here, you have to vote. It's mandatory. It's not even if you don't, it's illegal. <laughs> I was like, "What?" Illegal as in what happens? I'm not I'm not sure. I didn't really go into detail on like, you know what I'm saying, what, what happened. But he was basically like, yeah, man, I'm praying for you guys over there because uh, I know it's a shit show. I was like, yeah, it's a shit show over here. Bro, bro could you imagine being in a uh, jail cell or prison with a bunch of murderers ass. and shit? <laughs> and they're like, hey, what you in there? I ain't vote. Vote. <laughs> My nigga. I didn't My nigga. Vote, mate. That's a real one. That's a real one right there. I like that. You going places. Bring your ass over here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bring your ass over here. You going places, all right? <laughs> so, nah, man. man. Nah, nah, voter. <laughs> Non-voter. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I didn't know that was a thing, man. And in other countries, they, they, you know, I think it's just, it's more, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a celebrity race, bro. That's that's really what this whole presidential like debate and candidacy is all about. Is like just really trying to fluff up what you really want to get into office about. You know what I'm saying? It's it's rare that people try to get into office and actually make some change or really attempt to make some change. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of it's all about saying the right things to the right demographic to get the right people to vote for you. Right. If you live up to maybe a tenth of that, you did okay. <laughs> right. You did okay. If you lived up to a tenth of your promises, you did okay. <laughs> That's really what it is. A lot of times it's 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 just especially this year. This year's probably I'm not gonna lie to you, it just seemed like a reality show. Yeah, like I'm, literally oh, just yeah. seemed like, like a reality the show. Longest, the longest bullshit. Yeah. Fucked up episode of The Apprentice I've ever yes. seen. Yes. Facts. Ever. Yeah, yeah. this is. Like, and this is about our livelihood, too. That's what makes it worse. If y'all this shit off. That's what makes it worse, bro. It's it's and what's like what are we teaching children, bro. Like we was talking about before, bro. It's like we teach children that like look, look how you act. You know what I'm saying? When well, our president know, acts like this on Twitter, so why can't I? Yeah, it's like you what, know what you say. I don't care. I'm gonna act how I want to act. It's not your problem. <laughs> I know, right? Joe, make it don't. Joe, don't say smart. You're not smart. You're the least smart person dog, bro. in the room. That's You're not even. That's, I'm not a big fan of Trump, but you gotta respect the nigga. Don't care. That's he does. God, will, will you shut up, man? Will you shut up? He does not care, like bro. A gangster, bro. He does not. He's the one president we've had that really don't care. Barack's was the smoothest. I don't care what nobody say. That nigga was the smoothest, oh, yeah. smoothest motherfucking president we've ever had. That nigga, I, you know what? The, the smoothest moment to me, one of them was when uh he was doing a a speech, and mm-hmm. um he was like, yeah, um we all know <clears throat> that this is my last. No, he said something about um. I'm coming up on my last term or whatever, something like that. And then they all start clapping. And then, you know, they were trying to be assholes about him leaving. And he was like, yeah, I know. That's because I won both of them. 
<laughs> and I was just like, hey, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> Bro, there nigga. you go. I, bet, I, I, I know for a fact Donald Trump is not using that basketball goal back there. I know he not. He took it I, down. I'm just playing. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he did. Let me stop. I know damn well he not shooting those jumpers back there. I know he, he not. Turn into a racket ball, not racket ball, tether ball. <laughs> oh tennis. man, tennis. <laughs> Nobody's fucking with me. <laughs> so yeah, man. That's hey, that's. Hey, well, I will say this. A lot of people have been more active in voting. I've been seeing that. They've been saying yeah. the early voting numbers has been pretty damn high. Spiced. In, yeah, so that is good that people are at actually exercising their right to vote, well, no matter who it's for. Like, that's dope. I fucks with that. I have never, that. never genuinely seen a large amount of group of people literally trying to get rid of one motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, facts. <laughs> this, this is facts. I think it's like, I've had four years of this shit. I ain't never voted a day in my life except for, for Barack. But today, <laughs> this nigga's out of here. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's true. He's out of here. I'm nah, done. it's out of Hillary. Oh, yeah. True. And and that whole situation, even then, she won the popular vote, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Got this nigga in this house. <laughs> I I never forget. I think I think we. I don't know if I was at your crib or we we was chopping it up or something. I was just like, bro, these next four years is about to be some shit. <laughs> nah, this shit about to get shit about to get rough. And that's when right when he won the presidency, niggas was out here. Rioting with tiki torches, professing <laughs> KKK niggas. Yeah, <laughs> with tiki Trump's torches. American now, boy. <laughs> yeah, like this was Turn. a sign of things to come. Oh, yeah. low key. The Simpsons said it. Yep, Simpsons. Somehow they're right. They're always right. It's the one a, um... one cartoon. Somehow they always were right, and it's kind of weird. That shit's kind of creepy, bro. If you look at some of the events they've already had an episode about, that shit's happened. Hey, it's don't like, don't let the uh, the Illuminati. Uh, he knows too much. Gavinches. Life gonna go out. My shoes gonna disappear in the back. I don't the know. They got the me. Then they can say his shoes gonna disappear. Not me. The shoes. They know where it hurts. They gonna take take Blondie. <laughs> Not me. Take her. She's nah. gonna have a big blondie have a big patch of hair missing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the patch. <laughs> but no, nah, that's crazy though. So um hopefully again everything ends peacefully and all that. Um so that way, you know, we ain't gotta worry about, you know, niggas getting out of hand, filling they sales, because you know, black people are crazy nowadays, you know. Yep. So um <clears throat> hopefully it's just a peaceful transition and we get a a Four years to kind of help aid in the rebuilding of America, getting through this whole COVID situation mm-hmm. um, that was bad, and that's, that looked like it's spiking like crazy again. Um, going into because everything's winter. open, bro. <laughs> everything's yeah, everything's back to normal. Dog. Niggas don't give a damn. People catching flights, they turning up at the club. I've been seeing some clips of people at the club, and I'm looking at that motherfucker. I'm like, bro, this shit had to be like in January, right? Like, nah, nigga, I'm talking about everybody and their mama. Like, you know the club. I'm talking about that whole pack. And I mean, no mask. Mm. And if a nigga do got a mask on, it's under the chin. (laughs) I'm just like, what the hell? (laughs) When they got a drink and smoke they hookah, man. (laughs) Yeah, then you get the coughing and shit. (laughs) Why the hookah got you doing that? Everything pretty much like, like nothing ever happened. Like it's, it's the only thing now is you know just the stores they keep it you know for the most part the stores are kind of up on point on that like you can't get in without a mask type shit so right. but everything outside of just regular stores and restaurants ah nah they they on they on some fuck it bro I know you gotta eat bro but damn bro like the club the strip club 
Oh, oh no, strip club been booming since Corona was a thing. Them niggas True. didn't close. Them niggas was not closed, bro. Booty sweat is back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they called it booty sweat and chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. So they can stay open as a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Them niggas was not closed, bro. Niggas was sneaking out the crib with their mask on, trying to see some ass on. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit. <laughs> crazy part well, you- about it is. The restaurants, I mean, all the places they advertise and shit now that they open, no dining room open mm-hmm. 24 hours. And I was like, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. They have DoorDash. They have people who will go get the food for you and bring it to you. Yeah. My was, I looked at Wingstop, bro. They had flags, big race car flags. They try to flag <laughs> you down. They had somebody in the middle of the street fucking yeah. holding the sign. <laughs> paid the bitch. paid that nigga $50. Bro, and I was like, this shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. And as I pulled in there so I can go get my food, I walked in there, bitch, and I was like, yo, y'all really just, damn. Just open, Packed. huh? Yeah. Packed. It was it's... open. They said, you want to sit down? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, enjoy my food. I'm going to sit down this bitch. But then I ate. This shit was good, bro. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought you was about to say, hell no. Nah. Nah. This yeah, nigga said, I'll sit down. Nah, I mean, I had my mask on, shit. Like right but I'm trying to figure out are they like sanitizing each the table every time somebody get up? Like, well, you know some of the places I've myself. seen, yeah, I did it myself. Some but you can't trust I've other seen. people to be as responsible as you are. True, true, you know? true, true. So it, it really, you really gotta just you know make sure you do your part as well. <laughs> Niggas but, going to the gym. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, like, see, that's what I'm getting. How you gonna spot somebody on the bench? Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> I got you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. You got me, got me. Appreciate it, man. Sweat. Wow. That mm-hmm. 225 was a little heavy, bro. I, you know, I, like, <laughs> you know. Like, really, nigga? This is what we doing up in here? Mm-hmm. Ain't, that's not enough sanitary wipes. Nope. nope. Hell no, nah, bro. That's too many bodily fluids. The sauna? Moving around. The sweat room? Steam room? <laughs> oh, that's, that's COVID. Nigga. The, the Connor. <laughs> You making disease? Facts. You creating some new shit. Food. You put you you mixing some shit. Yeah, you making some shit. That Sauna shit putting shit together. That shit loosen up your phlegm. You <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Oh, this thing you said it loosen up your phlegm, bro. <laughs> That's funny, dog. Because it's true. Oh, that whole dude, bro. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, how many yeah. goddamn rocks you got in there, man? Shit, turn this <laughs> shit down. Yeah. You ain't the only one. <laughs> oh my god, bro! And there's one nigga with the dumbbells. Like, bro, keep this shit out there, bro. Bro, take it easy. Look at the sign, bro. Like, nigga, like burn going. That nigga, go before. You know, it's always an extra nigga. They got to do more just mm-hmm. to show push ups mm-hmm. in the sauna. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> When you pass out, nigga. I ain't picking you up. <laughs> you to waste push my ups energy. in the sauna, bro. Whew, I gotta get it right. <laughs> gotta get it tight. Push ups in the sauna with a sweatsuit nigga, on. This ain't fucking. This ain't capsule corp, nigga. <laughs> the hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna come out ten I'm times up. stronger <laughs> than they were before. Yeah, hey, now I'm getting a little 10%, lightheaded. Ten percent dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a little eye headed up in here. I'm, I'm, oh my breathe. god, bro! But nah, man. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just kind of show you the climate that we are dealing with, bro. It's, it's it's crazy because this is a situation where you gotta trust other people. You know, mm-hmm. it's ain't like you know, like when AIDS and HIV was going around, it was like, all right, nigga. Yeah, you be careful. Don't smash everybody. Wear protection. Yeah, yeah. you will be a little safer than just yeah. if a nigga breathing next to me. Yeah, you know, that's that's like a whole different ball game, and um, I wish they would have kept taking it as serious as they did, but no, here come Magic Johnson. I let everybody know it's okay. Like, oh, nigga, they still need to know it's a problem. <laughs> they still need to know it's a problem. It's an issue, bro. Oh, they was going crazy back then, bro. Like mm-hmm. before condoms. Fuck what condoms? Knows? What fuck you the talking fuck about? Is nigga? that nigga? You think you I got know? these fifteen kids for? Yeah. You use those for TV reception. 
Yeah, <laughs> like niggas wasn't using condoms like that <laughs> back in the day. And what are those? Yeah, what like, the fuck is this, bro? Baby <laughs> boom. Boom. It's like Chosen them was like, bro, ooh, we need something <laughs> to, yeah. to, get, <laughs> to get us popping because boys ain't using us. What made Trojan the, the number one destination for condoms? That's what I always wanted to know. Like, what just, huh? <laughs> just the name? Just one day a nigga said, bro, this Durex ain't it. <laughs> it's not it. Probably the lubrication, bro. <laughs> lubrication. <laughs> <laughs> They was they was colorful, bro. Oh, uh, the, they was colorful, bro. <laughs> the advertising was just ah, that's what it was. Because Durex didn't really Chile. have like <laughs> Durex didn't have advertising. It was just you know what I'm saying. You got here you go. <laughs> Do what bro. you can with what you got. I always think about that scene on uh, Love on Constantine when uh, when his daddy gave him that big shit, box of condoms. Mm-hmm. Like, bro. There's more than magnums. What else is in that box? <laughs> <laughs> like studied it's a bunch condoms, of shit. Ribbed condoms, ribbed for pleasure. Starburst. If got out, then they ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's funny, bro. These niggas got different variations of condoms for all I scenarios. That, I don't know. That, that sounds like a lot of friction. Twisted, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I had a homie like that. That's how, that's how Lanell was, bro. Like, Lanell, actually, I got my first condom from Lanell. This nigga. <laughs> Straight out the and, wallet. And Straight I got in trouble. I got in trouble because my mom went in my wallet. You know that situation where my mom was in my room and she found it in my wallet. And I got more mad that she was going through my shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> than the fact that she found the, the, the condom. But, um... This nigga yeah. Lionel was, was like, man, hey, bro, he he kind of had that same scenario with condoms. This nigga had the lamb skin, all that. <laughs> so I was like, hey, this will protect you from from this, but it ain't gonna protect you. She she got some. But I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I need that for? <laughs> I didn't have it. What kind of condoms? <laughs> yeah, every condom for every situation. <laughs> you say very very sensitive. <laughs> bro, he's right here, bro. You ain't gonna last with these, bro. <laughs> you ain't gonna last with these. If I was in the second grade, the second grade. Whoa. Get this shit when I got in trouble. I found one behind, you know, all the elements, you know, all the elements school and cafeteria, you got that big ass curtain at the mm-hmm. back. Boy, I was just walking back there. I'm like, da 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 da. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Black rapper, I'll pick it up, put that bitch in my pocket, went to the crib. They got, as soon as I got to the restroom, that's where all my dangerous shit happens. My water balloons, toothpaste, fights, all that type shit. Just fuck mm-hmm. up. I'm a kid, nigga. I fuck <laughs> yeah. Up. Lock the door. I'm going to go clean it up. Fuck it up. Nigga, I'll unrip that hoe. I'm thinking it was going to stay flat. That was like, floop. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, what is this? And I got scared. I'm thinking if I touch it, I'm going to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a I, minute. I could read, bro. So I read the back and I was like, H, I, it said HIV. <laughs> so I was like, what's HIV? Hive. And I was like, <laughs> so I tested and I was Sound like, some scary shit. I was like, Ugh. and I remember what movie that came out? Species. Uh. <laughs> Species that came out. And I was just like, I remember the ooze and the slime, and the, <laughs> the ooze, all that shit. And I looked and I was like, so I threw that bitch in the toilet and I flushed it and I hurried up and ran out. Cause I was like, let me get the shit off me. My mama went in the restroom, damn near five minutes after me, bro. Damn. Out, that hole had caught the water stream the perfect kind of way and just unraveled, bro. No. Like this. My mama pulled that. She said, Marcus, what the fuck is this? I'll never no. forget that. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I do not know. She wanna know. I she want to know if you don't know, so she'll know that you don't know that she know. <laughs> but I'll never forget this shit. Bro, that shit crazy, bro. Like, nigga said the texture of it. <laughs> it was mad. It was like, I was, like, I was like, why is it so squishy, but not squishy? And I was like, what the fuck? You know what? I ain't gonna, you know what? It's funny, bro. I ain't gonna even lie, because, but the term before before I even 
had sex for the first time. The term bust a nut, I used to be scared. <laughs> I'm be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna let it out there. I used to be scared because <laughs> all I used to hear like a lot of niggas it, talk about it. I, I can I can ask the same. I can ask the I can ask the one. <laughs> ask yourself. You ask yourself over and over and over again. Is it going to grow back? <laughs> I ask myself that over and over. I'm like, okay, once I bust the nose, are they going to come back? <laughs> Do they come back to me? Is all I want to know. The first time that- I heard out of elementary school, I I was like, what's what they busting nuts? What's up? You yeah, know, I was busting nuts, bro. Okay. <laughs> huh? Niggas don't even know what they talking about. They just be hearing their dad and them and their uncles talk shit. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck this shit mean. I'm like, what? Oh, oh, yeah. suck it. <laughs> we was just doing that just to do it. Didn't even know what we was getting in trouble for. Mm-hmm. I'm jumping off the swing. <laughs> am I in? Am I in the gang? Am I? <laughs> but yeah, nah. Like just just to hear the term the terminology. You know, you hear a lot of hood niggas. Yeah, boy, I'm about to bust, bust a nut, bust a nut. It's like. Bro, that shit sound painful, nigga. What are, we, <laughs> what are we talking about? It had me in fear for a long time. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I just, I was like, man, I ain't trying to bust no nut. I ain't trying to hurt myself. That hurts. <laughs> I felt <laughs> what it felt like to get tapped in the nuts playing dodgeball, and it mm-hmm. don't feel good. Mm-hmm. So I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to bust them. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good on uh, with virginity. You know, <laughs> that would be a cold ass movie right now. I know what? what movie was that? Good Boys, but a cold ass coming of age African American. <laughs> the wood was straight, but we need a new one now. Yeah, like a more modern. Yeah. You know, you know what's crazy? I was on Netflix and it looks like they have an American pie, but with females. Mm-hmm. It kind of looked like they flipped the story on us with like four girls. That's the girl? Story. Yeah, fun time at band camp. <laughs> it's a little weird, you know, because if they're in high school, you know, <laughs> it's just like, hey, what are y'all promoting? That <laughs> on the cool. Are we? Ah, damn, it's crazy, bro. If you think about it, when American Pie came out, you remember how old you was around what age? Now I was around. How old was I with American Pie? I don't know, cause I don't know if I caught on, caught wind of it when it came out or like later on. Cause I, I think had to I sneak and watch a lot of shit. <clears throat> I just never forget old dude losing his shit when old girl came over there to study. <laughs> that nigga yeah. in the damn webcam song. <laughs> she barely touched this nigga. And nigga, uh, uh, I was like, what? What the fuck is a tube side for? <laughs> What is it, tube side four? <laughs> but I used I to get mad. Like, and it's, ooh. <laughs> ah, ah. It's like, bro, you messed up your chance, bro. Look at her. Yeah, you and Elizabeth. And he did it twice, bro. He did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> did it twice. She came back in. Oh, hey, you bro. Talked- them, 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 the fragile times. Them, them first few. <laughs> yeah. those, are, those are fragile times, man. I, I don't think, I think women got to understand because we, we didn't get to dive on this. I guess we're going to tap on it because we do got to have some women on here to discuss it. But, um, Ross did bring a good conversation up that men do kind of have a more to hold up to when it comes to going into the bedroom. Like, we got more yeah. pressure on us, um, than women do. And, uh, I, I just agree with that, man. We, we got so much to worry about. First, you got to be the right size, and then you got to um, make sure you're not um, <clears throat> you're lasting. It's, it's so many mm-hmm. variables. We already going in there with a lot mm-hmm. on our mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit, what's the first move I'm going to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do I start mm-hmm. with play? Do I touch her mm-hmm. neck? Ah. Yeah, it's stressful. Mm-hmm. And then you got to, you know what I'm saying, make sure you figure out her spots. Does she like this? You know, like it's it's a fucking it's a goddamn adventure, bro. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, at the same time, it depends on it depend on how they move you see it. That play a big factor into it. Too. True. But when you first start, you don't know all that. You you just you so used to watching porn, trying to learn mm-hmm. from that, and that's fucking you up, really. 
<laughs> when you think about it. Yeah, that's oh yeah, because you be overexerting yourself and thinking mm-hmm. about that damn much. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I see. You gotta do the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> At first time, I thought I was about. I thought I was supposed to break my pelvis. I thought I was supposed to go all in, bro. Oh, that's man. that's everybody, bro. <laughs> Sneaky said, I thought I was supposed to snap my shit. <laughs> so yeah, man, it's, we definitely it's... have to have that conversation. Yeah, we do. We, we just tapping on it just to let people yeah. know, just to yeah. let people know, because that, that's gonna be a real one, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Looking forward to having that conversation. See, get other people's opinion on it, but nine times out of ten, nah, definitely. We got. They know so. They yeah, know we so. got to go through a lot, bro. Because if 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 you in that house stinking up the joint, it's raps, bro. <laughs> that's it's not a good way to go home. <laughs> that is not a. That's a long car ride of reflection. Yeah. <laughs> every, oh, song turn on, every song you turn, <laughs> you fucked up. You feel? I'm just saying you could do better. <laughs> Man, fuck you, bro. Shit. Well, you may not even. You just ride home in silence. <laughs> all you hear is all four wheels hitting the pavement. Yeah. The wind. You hear the wind howling against the window. And don't let it. <laughs> For the niggas, they gotta drive thirty plus minutes. That's thirty plus minutes of. Damn. <laughs> oh nah, bro. Them, them, somebody needs to reach out to people like that, bro. That, that's tough. You know. Nah. Like, when you getting into your thoughts on a drive. <laughs> Just, As somebody got to look out and reach out to people. In them start situations. sending them risky texts. Look, it was just you know what I'm saying. I wasn't expecting that. My, it's, that's not my normal. Like you know what I'm saying. It was I was bro. You caught me on a bad day. <laughs> look, look, I just got fired. He said, "Long dead work, Hennessy, Tupper Blunts, whiskey pipe." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Just you know what I'm saying? Let me let me get that run back. Let me get that run back. <laughs> let me get, let me get that run back. back. Oh, I need man. my stroke. That run back, bro. Lamonte. Shout out to Big Ja. Yeah. What? Let me get that run back. back. Just one time, bro. I promise you he'll be back. That's a run back is a very crucial. Nah. It's very crucial. Yo, run back. That gotta be your Jordan <laughs> game six. That is your <laughs> That is your chance to That's knock hair off her shit if she got it. Yeah. But boy. <laughs> oh, that is opportunity. And yeah, because if she lets you run back, that means she 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 a real one. You know what I'm saying? Because most of them golden star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that means you got you ain't you can't have no excuses. So you gotta <laughs> drink your water, do whatever you gotta do. Nigga said, I've been doing nut tugs. <laughs> Holding my breath, all that shit, girl. And you say kegels. You gotta, you gotta pop two hours before you go meet up with her. Mm-hmm. You, 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 gotta, you, you take <laughs> all precautions. Oh, you, you gotta hit the gas station. Go get you a, a stiff night. The stiff night. Go go with the Black the Panther. Night. <laughs> 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 oh, I know what uh, you're trying to have, buddy. <laughs> You damn right. Yeah. <laughs> they all in one section. To get that, get that black. They see all of them, the fucking things hanging. <laughs> and they, <laughs> one large ass capsule this big. You say I don't. I ain't trying to swallow that. No, break it up. Put it in your soda. They <laughs> <laughs> do it every time. <laughs> get that up, bro. Get your capsule. Get your run back, bro. <laughs> Buy you a black tea and a hat while you're in there. <laughs> oh, remember them days, boy. Oh, they, be them, they be having them stiff ass black tees. Nah, them hoes be crispy dream shirts. Yeah, yeah bro. You... Yeah, when you make that noise, mm-hmm. I'll have them days. Go in there, get you something to drink, maybe a can of X. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or some of that, uh, that purple stuff that slow mm-hmm. you down. <laughs> Man. Oh but, shit, bro! But nah, bro. Uh, this is definitely a dope podcast, bro. Yeah, very, very refreshing, very chill. Mm-hmm. Um, I got, a, I got one final question though before y'all uh get out of here. All um, right. 
Marvel it has been. I'll say it, God damn it. No, I'll fuck with you. <laughs> <Shit>, Marvel. <laughs> I won't open up the floodgates. It's too much going on right now. I think Spider-Man people already know that that uh, Spider Man Three is in production. DC better. They just Marvel just put the movies together better than they do. Right. Um, <clears throat> wish it wasn't that way, but anywho. Uh, oh, did y'all see the game that they got coming out? I, I kind of played a little bit of the uh, the demo for the Marvel game. Oh yeah, I've seen the some Avengers. Of it. Yeah, the Avengers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I only got to play like. I ain't gonna lie, like two minutes of it. Oh, the um, beta. Yeah, the beta, yeah. Um, because I, I think it was only open on weekends, and I was like trying to find time to play and shit. Mm-hmm. But um, it's a big game. I uh, I got a habit of watching cutscenes. Mm-hmm. I need to stop doing that. I need to learn how to focus on the game, just play it, and stop anticipating stuff was gonna happen. It's a dope <laughs> game, dope ass storyline. You be watching him, like, oh shit, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Like, Damn, <laughs> nobody said nothing. They didn't give me a warning hit or nothing. Yeah. But I mean, even on YouTube, it's like whoever be getting early releases of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, they'll play the shit all the way through and they'll record and stream it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh, nah, yeah. Them games get for real, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. They get real life. Um, Real quick, name these. I was going to do four, but I think I just only got three. Um. From your know, favorite to least, or from greatest to <clears throat> least greatest, you got Jamie Foxx show, Fresh Prince Martin. Mm. What's your number one? What's your number two? What's your number three? I'm gonna go. Damn, that's a good one. I'm gonna go Fresh Prince mm. Martin, Jamie Foxx. That's okay. my order. Solid. <laughs> you know what? I'm a my mine's replicate Ross's because um I don't know. I I think because I kind of watched First Prince first. Mm-hmm. And so it was just kind of I don't know. It was just I was a fan of Will Smith <clears throat> from prior and just seeing the the how many different Topics they kind of went on, just like Martin did, yeah. but I don't know. It's just to me, first Prince just hit. But um, that was really hard for me for the long time. Like I, I really have them at the same because mm-hmm. I love them both for different reasons. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, Marcus. Uh, uh. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> all right. So I'll go from my least to my top. Mm-hmm. Okay. At least to so my least. Ah, Fresh Prince. Okay. Then I'm gonna go Jamie. I'm gonna go Martin. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's my number list. I have to laugh. Like I love to laugh. I love to catch the inside jokes. I love mm-hmm. to catch the the background. I like to see what nobody is focusing on because that'd be the funniest shit. That means mm-hmm. right. shit in every <clears throat> great Martin scene. If you look at the background, it's even more hilarious shit going on, bro. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Ron was fighting cold. The two store clerks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dying, dying <clears throat> fucking, trying to hold him back. She was trying to hold his back. And this nigga was trying to hold Cole back. <laughs> when Kenji was whooping Dragonfly Jones ass, Cole <laughs> and Tommy had me dying laughing, bro. Dying for the laugh. <laughs> and they was laughing, trying to hold the shit in. When Martin was doing the goddamn New Jack City scene. The oh, yeah, with the people. little Rock Wallet. <laughs> they was all laughing. And then we go to Jamie Foxx show. Same shit. Same shit. Sergeant e- Sergeant Sleazy. <laughs> that boy bro. slid to the front of the classroom. He said, You hotballing me, boy. You hotballing me, boy. <laughs> It turned around, bro. So that like, that shit was funny as hell, bro. <laughs> yeah. With with the Fresh Prince, I feel like they all had it, but they broke the fourth wall more. And it was like they mm-hmm. held they they touched on a lot of emotional shit. And it yeah, was they like, did. Besides the besides Will's father's episode. Oh man, that hit home for a lot of yeah. people, bro. Yeah, that one definitely hit home, bro. It hurt me, and I had my dad. Yeah, yeah. 
have a good dad, bro. <laughs> Damn. What the my fuck? thing was, besides that, oh, my crying. Bro, when Will got shot, mm-hmm. that, bro, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Then he like said, you owe me. Mm-hmm. You owe me. I was like, don't let, don't let Will put that Johnny Gill growl in his voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like I don't want to. It's uh, don't get me wrong, great show, but it's like yeah. it's just too much serious shit all the time. It was yeah. Like, I, I gotta laugh. I need to laugh. So no, nah, no, nah, that's that's honorable. No, nah, no, nah. honorable. Yeah, I mean they're all great shows, all legendary shows that yeah. still, you know, what I'm saying to this day you can watch. You know what's gonna happen and still die laughing. That's that's when you know you got a legendary product on your hand. No matter how old it get, you know what's going to happen. You're going to know every word, and it's still going to make you laugh. You can't. That shit's hard to do, bro. Shit is very hard to do. Nah, facts, bro. Like that's, And that's, that's another reason why I brought it up, because, you know, I was, you know <clears throat> that's, that's a type of TV that you really anticipated. You couldn't wait for it. And you always knew they was gonna deliver. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it was hard to really put some one of them on top of the other because it was always something you loved about one. You know that fit that one. Like the Jamie Foxx show to me, bro. That shit is to me. People really it really be underrated because Jamie Foxx was really hilarious as hell on mm-hmm. that show. And yeah. we always it, the storyline of him getting fancy was a real big thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, like that was like, bro, you. Be, Fancy, bro. You know, everybody loved Fancy mm. uh, back in the day. So, um, that and then to to them, you know, getting married and stuff like that, and just kind of like it ended how you wanted it to. Um, unfortunately, the Martin one, it got a little weird with the <clears throat> situation he had going on with Gina, yeah. where they wasn't in scenes together. And yeah. as a kid, I'm like, well, damn, why are you always in <laughs> cutscenes? Why are they always splitting the, the show in half? Yeah, to the show him and her. It kind of, kind of. Yeah. Brought it down definitely because you but know, but the, they was greats the with the Will Smith with Pam all the time, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. After a while, I was like, ah, all right, I get, mm-hmm. I get it, but then next thing you know, all the movies he was like her wife, she played like his wife and shit, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, wow, well, yeah, well, mm-hmm. yeah, Pam always there, <laughs> <laughs> it's something, but now, nah, man. When all them shows ended, God gave us my wife and kids. Oh, no, that's a good show too. I think that that was like one of the last, and everybody hates Chris too. Was um, was yeah, I thought that show too. The yeah. beginning I'll series. Give, I'll, give, I'll give it recognition. Yeah, I, I never, I can never, I can never, well, get, I can never catch Chris Rock. I can never catch it. You know how you catch? You catch Eddie Murphy. You can catch Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I couldn't. I can never catch him and grasp his comedy, but that was a good ass show. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to watch the PJs a lot too, but mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah. Now nah, it they they were too. They did their thing, bro, for that that era when we when we left that. But you know, my wife and kids. It was another really. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a good one. It, it's it, like it's show where you can have characters like outside of regular people, like fucking Bobby Shaw, bro. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it's Bobby Shaw. It's <laughs> he did a triple birdie fly. What he called this? <laughs> See, that's a myth, and you can't do myths. <laughs> but not nah, facts. But no, nah, man, I guess we're gonna have to do some little trivia or some like questions of like you know who's dumber, Cole or Junior, you know, type shit, just to kind of pick people brain. I think those should be like interview questions. Like when you try to go to a job, okay. Are you familiar with the shows <laughs> Martin and My Wife and Kids? Uh in your opinion, who is the less smarter person? Would it be Cole or would it be Junior? And why? Cole, get your hand off that. I thought it was the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as a wild card, we're gonna add in Waldo Geraldo Faldo. Oh mm. yeah, uh, yeah. Mm, that's wild. yeah. That is a good wild card. That is a good wild. That nigga was stupid. Bro. That Say, nigga. Waldo, we're both going to school. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was beyond stupid. He kind of made you feel like he was stupid in real life. Like, yeah, but you, like, that's how good they all were because you probably feel like, bro, this nigga really probably dumb. <laughs> you can't fake that, and you can't act that dumb. Right. <laughs> <Goddamn>. <laughs> Ain't no acting. Act 
That's real life. That's real facts. So I will say at least Junior had a, a kid, so he gotta be somewhere. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, make you believe shit. I was like, bro, is his head really that big? The way that he <laughs> <laughs> oh, was nah. huge. Yeah. He definitely had that little acorn shit popping. <laughs> but now, um, this is definitely a dope podcast, bro. We gotta mm-hmm. get you back on here, Zo. Um, so <clears throat> enjoyed this freestyle session, but nevertheless, mm-hmm. uh, we was able to talk about some serious shit, fun shit, and uh, you know, just something for people to kind of tune into as they going about their day, make them think and all that. So, uh, make sure y'all support the podcast, bro. It's definitely something we really want to put more into mm-hmm. and get more consistent on. And when all this COVID stuff is over, we start linking back up like the old days. <clears throat> but, uh, appreciate y'all boys for supporting episode. I hope thirty seven because. I'm going to look dumb if I'm titling it something different. <laughs> but y'all get it. My, my outro music is the theme from uh, Kenan and Kel. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Bring them back to the orange soda days. Yeah. That shit is delicious, bro. Facts. It is.